Right. So we're playing through Final Fantasy VII. We literally just played as far as the death of Aerith. I mean, that's that's essentially where we're we're up to in the storyline. And it's something that, it's something that came to mind is that it says end of part one when you finish this part of the game. It literally says end of part one. Boom. And it makes a, such a logistical sense. It's a, it's the right space. It's the right time to actually talk about that. That, that actually like the, this is where the story takes its big turn, and you're on the quest to hunt down Sephiroth, stop Meteor. That is the key point. Meanwhile, before this, you kind of had this half um, Earth needs to go home kind of story, which was the first part of the game after being introduced to her as a flower girl, and what's going to happen is that they're probably going to take final fantasy 7 split into two or three parts i've got a feeling it's going to be three but um let's go with the theory for now that's going to be in two parts you take final fantasy 7 you split into two parts and you stop it at this point that's the end of part one but we've only been shown as far as the after leaving midgar it's actually the sewer which which is pretty close yeah, I mean, I suppose we haven't even seen that far. We've seen sewer monsters, uh, so that which is actually just before you climb the wall. Uh, so that's uh, that, that's true enough. It, it doesn't go too far, but I've got a feeling because that's a bit they've shown to us over and over and over again. And there's a rumor floating around about what's going to happen for PS, a, a leak for PS Plus next month, and. Um, the announcements that are going to be happening next month whenever we're at E3 about episode Midgar. I've been joking about this because then you're going like, if they make the first part of the game, the first viable part of the game, and you only, only play through Midgar, and then you have to wait for the next part of the game to be released, and they're literally going to make it piecemeal that way out and make you buy episodes in a lot of ways. I was fucking furious about that idea. Because if even putting it splitting Final Fantasy VII into two separate games, it's a bit fucked as an idea. Mostly, I think that they were going to do that, and they always intend that from the very, very goddamn beginning. Is because they had went to CyberConnect Two originally for development of the game, and CyberConnect Two have a great lineage, a history of play building out games that are in multiple parts that cross from one save to the next save to the next save. The Dot Hack series has done this in the past reasonably well, where you played levels one to twenty. And then there's a bit of a hard level cap, uh, but you can still gather gear and gather other bits and pieces. And then they had 20 to 40, and then 40 to 60, and then like the 60 to end game. You know, like it's they they had uh, a, a pace, an intentional design that they encourage. And especially with uh, if you want to go back and play uh, GU, it gives you a good example of that because it's uh, a re-release on PS4. If you don't want to go all the way back to the original Dot Hack games, but with doing so. Uh, but by going to CyberConnect 2, they played their hand really early. They obviously they dropped CyberConnect 2 as the developers a long time ago. Uh, they weren't happy about what solution they were getting, but mechanically their their build design still sounds like they're going to do that. So that we're going to have episodic Final Fantasy 7 content, and we all know that's the way the game's going to be released. Now we didn't know whether how many parts it was going to be in. We don't know exactly. Still, I still got a feeling that we could actually be seeing um, three to five episodes that will complete the Final Fantasy VII story. And one of those is going to be episode Midgar. And what would, and if they if they were going to kind of really go fucking fuck the gamers and make as much money as possible, that's what we'd be looking forward to seeing announced at E3 and be horribly disappointed going like, well, fuck, we don't want to spend 30 quid on just Midgar. But if they don't do that, and they do have an episode Midgar, or like an episode Disgay, same as they did for Final Fantasy XV, ready. Like they have that bit done, and they've got, they're like, well, we need more time to finish the rest of it, but we have that bit like really, really done. If that's what the show floor demo is going to be at E3, essentially an episode Disgay, which is just, ep just Midgar for play where it literally stops as you kind of like you're standing there looking out over the edge of the city after taking down the road boss after your motorcycle battle and that's it all over numb with after a really epic fucking fight scene then we'd all be okay with it and that'd be like a uh, a test demo that might actually only meant to be i don't know four hours five hours of play all together but it would at least give a beginning middle and end and an actual like uh here's here's the where the adventure continues on 
with a number of like uh, side missions and mini missions and a lot of other stuff dropped out. It's just the bare bones of that adventure uh, only really being a three, a two to three hour escapade, I suppose, from um, the perspective of like, I mean, I, I did that as a video already. I actually specifically did a video of episode Midgar of playing through it and how long it took me in Final Fantasy VII with triple speed turned on what it would be it would be uh, about four hours of gameplay to kind of get to that end point if they released that as a goddamn demo as part of ps plus for e3 and such like they get they come out and do the presentation a square decided to do a presentation or whatever they decide to announce it and they just kind of go like right uh final Fantasy seven here check out some more footage this is all looking great isn't it it's looking absolutely fantastic in fact you know what hang on um <laughs> because i forget that this is actually it's on here the original original trailer um so they come out and they do their presentation and they're going like final fantasy 7 we are we are bringing the promise that we have actually made so long ago so will you, will you join us in a place of adventure and they actually play another breakdown trailer that's actually going to show the content it's going to probably bring more bits and pieces to show a little bit of gameplay and stuff that are going to be scenes with characters that we haven't seen yet like a reveal of tifa and of vincent and yuffie and anybody else and we're going to see that shown on screen and then at the very end we're going like and you can all play it today here at e3 and then they actually like announce that and later today and you just hear the crowd go fucking batshit <laughs> later today just like like the, the one more thing where they just turn and say it will be available for download on the playstation service and <laughs> you can imagine how many people are going to just shit bricks and how many people who are actually at e3 are going to be going like well fuck i need to go back to my room and make sure that's downloaded because the odds of me getting on to play this here on the floor are going to be a lot less now than actually playing it at home and that's going to be the big case. It's a, they, instead of doing the massive key state, instead of doing the massive uh, keynote speeches, we're going to see that at some point of somebody's announcements. And I think Square will actually. Like, like, I, uh, I'm hyped about the idea of that more than anything else. And I don't know if it's actually a good idea to get overly hyped about the idea of it, because it it, it it's a pipe dream. It really is a pipe dream. But it would be delightful to actually have that to look forward to. E3 is just around the corner. Uh, while we're, we're uh, two weeks, a week and a half away. Let's double check the dates. Because uh, we're, what, 24th now? So, yeah. Just over two weeks. Just over two weeks to E3. And as always, it's a delight. Um, let's look forward to some real, real announcements and some rather than actually the, uh, the random bits and pieces that are actually being. Um, released as what do you call it as uh, as leaks at the moment because it's that my, my imagination is getting away with me but that 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 moment that that feeling of actually like you can play it now would be great I, uh, I don't really care all that much and i'm lying to myself whenever i say that completely lying to myself um final Fantasy 7 remake would be a great crack to actually see in hand uh, playing through it again here on the stream has been an absolute delight because fuck, uh, there's, there's, there's always parts you're going to forget every single time you walk away from it. It's been so long since this game came out that it, it requires a very, very large over, overhaul for mechanics. And um, I welcome a Final Fantasy 15 style Final Fantasy 7. Let's all live in hope. But maybe, just maybe, we could be seeing episode Midgar in less than less than two weeks play an episode midgar before the end of june that, that, that would be absolutely goddamn amazing so um yeah let's look forward to that together thank you very much for watching um if you actually have uh thoughts and theories about the final fantasy 7 remake yourself then please please do share them um if you get any information that'll actually make me feel a little bit more assured or if you want to completely shit on my dreams or my thoughts <laughs> then feel free to hit the comments below yeah thank you very much for watching i will see all you dudes in another excited final fantasy 7 hype train <laughs> see you at all e3 bye